Oh, okay. We forgot to pick something up a while back. All right. Uh, no, wait, we can't go back here. Um, to get back to the main square. To the watchtower. And there's supposed to be a knife here somewhere. There it is. Got it. I'm just gonna double check that I didn't forget to pick up anything else while we were out here because otherwise we're just gonna have to come back. Okay. Nothing. Good. And let's get back down here. Main square. Fuel dump. Main gate. Sliding door. Bunker. And back to the room. There we go. Well, work for guy and sell fives, so it ought to work for me. There wow. we have it. Open. Don't try this at home, guys. Uh, ventilation shafts are not that big. Let's see if I can do it. Made it. Here it is. The land room. This is where the five of them were. Land party! Woo! That's uh, coming with me. I think I just might be able to use it. Yeah, definitely. Damn it. All of the PCs are wrecked. Well, at least the flag is still in good condition. I guess at least something is still working. Somebody's done a real good job here. Locked. Um, not for long, I guess. No. First, I gotta find out just what this whole installation's here for. Okay. And how am I supposed to do that, you genius? Hundreds of video cassettes. Clearly labeled. They told me about the night when they were shooting in the building. And about the night where they sat at the computer. They must have recorded all of that. Oh, and I just got pinged. What happened here?
Give me one second, guys. I have to deal with some work stuff. I think I'm missing something. We probably missed something up there. I, I refuse to believe that we were only here just for the duct tape. That would be stupid. Oh, there's something we can inspect. Oh, nice. Hey, this portable hard drive still seems to be intact. Wow. So yeah, cyber much find security. Some proof of what they were doing here. So cyber much security. The hard drive. That's an important piece of evidence. <laughs> Could have gone to the store for that. <laughs> Can I wreck this place no now? No doubt that this computer controlled the program. I have to destroy it. I've got enough evidence. I've got the videos and the hard drive. Finally. Uh, let's save before we do this because I have no idea what's going to happen here. Just in case we suddenly get like a bunch of armed guys coming after us or something. Let's see the old this. <laughs> Somewhere in the distance, Devin is screaming and he doesn't know why. <laughs> Am I disturbing you? Mr. McNamara, how nice to see you again. Even if under somewhat deplorable circumstances. What are you doing here? Oh, you're asking me. Shouldn't that be the other way around? I have to admit I'm impressed. You are both persistent and resilient. I never would have thought you would make it here. The water off the dock is 50 feet deep. For a poor swimmer with cuffed hands, that's usually deep enough. Who are you? Not Mr. Clark from Dwight Chemicals, anyway. My name is Warren Zane. I am the project leader for Cyclops Industries. As you can see, we're working here on a few tests for a little piece of software. A further development of the simulators that you may well remember yourself. You're training young people to kill, aren't you? Influencing them with subliminal messages. Exactly right, David. You have an excellent grasp of this. Seriously? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Or you would never come. Who comes of their own free will to their own funeral? You work for the Pentagon. Yes, indeed. As I told you, one of the largest employers in the country. And the Pentagon is testing the effectiveness of this manipulation software here. Not only that, we're also testing whether or not we can erase the memories of our test subjects. Dr. Young's chemical method has helped us immensely. However, as we know now, thanks to your work, we must improve it further still. We don't just want killers, David. We want killers who can also withstand interrogation. In today's unconventional wars, memories are a hindrance. He who remembers nothing tells nothing and regrets nothing. So, your methods have failed and my investigations in Staten Island have proven. Ah, David, I believe you really are quite movingly naive. Your results are very interesting to us. Your work is going to help us improve Goliath. The next version will resist any psychiatrist. You can count on that. Why do you think we entrusted these cases to you in the first place? So I'm part of your experiment? But of course. You were already a part of the Forerunner experiments. Have you never asked yourself where your aggressive outbursts came from? Of course you have. You mean my work on the simulator? Precisely. Sorry about your wife. We couldn't have known that our experiment would have caused such an unfortunate sight. However, we find ourselves at war. And as you well know, in war there are casualties. Which brings us to the unfortunate part of our conversation. I'm really very sorry. It's a few person. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> oh, this cutscene is amazingly bad. Pull the trigger. You're gonna disappoint me if you don't. You're a killer, Dave. You can't do anything else. Go on, do it. Like with your wife, David. Get it off your chest. You see, you wanted to do it. You're a success, Dave. Thanks for the help. You know, you could have still have pulled the trigger. Oh, hi, uh, Jonathan. I'm still here. My eyes see, my ears hear, my head thinks. The other is dead. The world turns when it clicks almost silently when it gets dark you Good don't question. see who's flipped the switch time stops just a moment the world keeps turning with us without us Cliff Mandrake Broker. Laura Fawcett, art student. Victoria Montgomery, model. Jonathan Bate, student. Ray Thornton, warehouse worker. David McNamara, psychiatrist. Switched. Overclocked. Darkened. I'm still here. My eyes see. I'm alone. At last. Also, where did the kid get clothes? Is what I want to know. The storm is over. <laughs> Are we getting the subliminal messages now? I'm sad Laura didn't make it. Really. Kim, what the fuck are you doing here? Get out. Get away from this guy. You're too good for him. Maybe the fact that she is almost blind uh, is why she doesn't realize that there that he's got like blood all over his pants. Okay. Um. A weird spot to end it in. Did we ever settle our bill? Did we give Riker back his uh, his gun? Where are the other three kids? Um. What the fuck just happened? And also, do we have to go to a non-extradition country now before the military kills us? So many questions. <laughs> and yeah, uh, Kim is... I, up until this point, I thought Kim was the smart one, but apparently she, uh, she just has a thing for guys that are complete train wrecks, I guess. She should have just run off with Terry. It would have been so much better for her, because let's face it, our protagonist is an asshole. Um, and I don't care how much subliminal messages and psycho manipulation went into that um okay so final verdict on the on the game um it is very janky um it was mostly stable except for that one area where we had like a bunch of crashes which is good um 
the script and the voice acting is at times really really atrocious um, the mechanics do get tiring after a while and I was actually happy when we lost our PDA <laughs> there were so many things in this game that just didn't make sense <laughs> um, I would say if you're going to play it that the thing is steam only has recommended and not recommended i really wish there was an option for recommended on a steep discount or recommended but with caveats or not recommended unless you like x so basically some kind of middle option um i would say this game is definitely a game that would require a middle option um if you can get this on a discount i got it for free so but if you can get it on a really, really steep discount, like if you can get it for two bucks or something, by all means, get it, play it, um, just for the mystery puzzle aspect of it. Be prepared that you will need a walkthrough in a few places and uh, don't, try not to think too hard about the script, I guess. <laughs> Um, that's that's my final verdict on this game. So I guess we get to roll the uh, RNG now and pick what we're gonna stream next week. <laughs> cool, cool. One more game off the list. Um, I am gonna leave a review for this. It's gonna be a recommended review, but it's gonna be like, I recommend this if you can get it on a discount. Uh, here is all the caveats, and then it's gonna be a long list of shit that's actually wrong with this game because there is a lot. But I think for one playthrough it is okay. I, I do not feel like I wasted the... Uh, I think we spent two weeks on this, so 12 hours? I, I, I don't feel like I wasted the 12 hours that I spent on this, so it's not too bad. Alright. I'm gonna wait for these credits to be over. Oh, did we get a... Post? Oh no, this is the... Uh, Yeah, this is the intro from the uh, studio, isn't it? Yeah. Did we get anything else? There is a moment. No, 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 no. Bad game, bad, no. Once was enough. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> we are not doing that again. Um, cool, cool. Pinned messages. Let's go. Google RNG. Oh, actually, just RNG. There we go. Uh, okay, so do we have, have I already moved this? Yes, I have. Okay, so we want a number from 2 to 134. All right, drum roll. Let's go. 132. <laughs> we're playing the witcher next Woo! <laughs> this is so great i actually i really am looking forward to this game because i i actually a bunch of a while ago i went on a buying spree where i just bought a bunch of games that are supposed to be really really good and that have been recommended to me by pretty much everybody like stuff like bioshock and borderlands and the witcher and what have you and I had actually just been meaning to get to The Witcher when I started working at THQ Nordic and a bunch of other things came up and then I started streaming and going through the RNG and all that. So kind of the, this got shelved for a couple of months and now we're here, we're gonna play The Witcher. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So we're gonna play the first one. Um, I hear the first one is a bit janky compared to The Witcher 3. I am going to uh, poke a bunch of people and ask them for recommendations uh, for this game. Like, not story recommendations, but like 
do this to make your gameplay easier, be aware of bugs like this and stuff like that. Um, so that we can go into that uh, as blind as possible, but with um, with awareness of any issues that might pop up. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit of a longer game, so this one's probably going to keep us busy for at least three or four months. But I, I am really looking forward to this. Um, <laughs> now I have to start it too. Malgadi, and you're going to like co-play every single game that I stream at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying, I'm looking forward to finally starting this because I do feel like there are certain games that are so well done or certain franchises that are so well done and that are so immensely popular that you kind of miss out on a pop culture icon if you don't play it and you're missing out on a really good game if you don't play it and that's like the juggernauts like Bioshock and The Witcher and Mass Effect and things like that so I'm actually really looking forward to finally getting into that and finally understanding what all the hype is about and I actually still have to watch the, the Netflix Witcher season 3, so that's also... I might watch that in anticipation of, of actually playing this game. <laughs> um, I mean, it's either that or being spoiled. You could have rolled something else. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, my guardian. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, that's that's gonna be for next weekend. So I'm going to I'm going to boot it up sometime this week just to see if it actually launches correctly and and play like 2 minutes to see if if it crashes when I try to start a game or something. And if it's stable then we're going to start with that next Saturday at 7 p.m. Vienna time. Until then, uh thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a lovely time. I hope you continue to have a lovely however much as rest of you, uh, is left of your Sunday. And uh, I hope to see you all again next week when we start The Witcher Enhanced Edition. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.